All right, guys, time to buy her. Let's go. Boom. The good gal. Oh, dang. Look at her. <laughs> Does she have a unique intro? We must find out. Oh. It is unique. It is unique. She's smoking. I have not seen the movie with her in it. The reason I bought her is because, I mean, it's just a skin, right? But it has a unique voice actress. It has the original one from the movie, which I respect. And it's a third person killer. Of course, I'm going to buy a skin for them. Also, I just spent 3 million blood points on them. So already prestige to level 47. Boom. Look at her. The good gal, the bride of Chucky, wedding dress, bread knife. Yo, let's get that bread. All right, so we're using an all-seeing build for the good guy today, or the good gal. And it starts off with using rat poison. While performing slice and dice, the auras of survivors within 12 meters are revealed to you for 5 seconds. It's actually 7 seconds paired with the lethal pursuer. We're also using the yardstick, so when we scamper things, within 12 meters, the auras of survivors are revealed to us for 5 seconds. Again, that is 7 seconds. Everything that has a timer, just add 2 seconds on top of it, because that's what lethal does. Of course, for offerings, we are using the Ebony Memento Mori. Gonna be showing that off, seeing if she has her own unique Mori. We're using Alien Instinct, so when we hook someone, the furthest survivor from the hook is revealed to us and oblivious for 20 seconds. We're using a new perk here by Chucky, friends till the end, so we become obsessed with one survivor, of course. When you hook a survivor that is not the obsession, the obsession becomes exposed for 20 seconds and reveals their aura for 10 seconds. If we hook the obsession, someone else becomes the obsession and screams and reveals himself but does not get exposed for 20 seconds. And then Discordance, if two or more people are working on a generator across the entire map, uh, it'll be revealed to us for four seconds. And then of course we got Lethal Pursuer here so we can see everybody at the start of the trial for nine seconds. All right, here we go. First match in the live game as Chucky or Tiffany here. I think it's oh Tiffany. Boy. Ready or not, here I come. Let's go. Okay, there's one person by themselves. Here's three people, let's split these people up. We got the all-seeing build. We can scamper. We can. Someone went over there. I'm gonna go to the shack though. Maybe make them drop the pallet early. Did I? Th I just heard them fall down the basement. They open that chest. They're probably going for the one down here. Anyone else? One other person might be in a locker. Cause there was three here. Oh, being in third person is still so weird. All right, we're going to catch this person pretty easy, I think, with our ability here. No, okay. I was not expecting that scream. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Wasting the pallets, not really looping too much. If I do this, it reveals their aura. It reveals all the auras around. Dang, they can probably barely see me right now. Dang, you can't turn right there. Okay. I, I forgot how much you can turn with it. Either way, we probably shouldn't lose track of anybody too easily. There's someone over there. Our build is just meant to keep finding people over and over again. Dang, I could have used the power right there, but like... I don't know. Now we're going under. We're getting them. Right here, right now. Let's go. Okay, let's break this wall. As soon as we hook them, we will expose the obsession as well, which is probably on that generator. Let's get a move on, babe. Oh, they talk to each other. Okay. That makes it way more interesting now that the um that we have the guy ghost and not the girl ghost. Where is... There she is. She is exposed for 20 seconds. Let's just hit this guy though. Get him off the gen. Of course. Maybe we should have been running uh, Chucky's new perk. To blind survivors. That would be so weird getting blinded across the map. Because if I smash the generator right there, get blinded, but then they also get blinded somewhere. Ooh, perfect. There was like no animation for that, but that was perfect. Need a hand, Pookie? <laughs> I love that you still get his voice lines with this. That's actually really good. 
There's someone in there. We're gonna hide. They're right in here somewhere. Here they go. Her little leather jacket is so funny. <laughs> Enter this. Dang it, I should have kept holding it down. I could see you, man. He could have made that. He could have altered that. I actually think Floods of Rage might have been better on this build. Because then you get a perk for when you hook people and then one for when they unhook someone. Uh, let's head back to the hook a little bit. See if anyone's going. Yep. Okay. I can scamper and reveal them. Oh, they have to be closer, I guess. I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. Alright, let's go for her. But yeah, if I charge my ability as well, they get revealed. So let's see where she went. Okay, that's good. This person. Should we just like surprise them and go through this window? Ah! Yep. <laughs> they have no idea where I'm at. They can't see me. We gotta watch out for a Leon flash. Okay, Ada also has one. Dang, she's gonna get one shot here. I think she forgot about that. And then the furthest survivor also gets revealed. Right, let's instantly go into this. <laughs> the voice is so good. Alright, come on over here. She's the new obsession, so... Let's get Leon. Let's hook him. He hasn't been hooked in a while. And then... Let's try to one-shot the obsession. That's the really good part of this, uh... This new perk. Oh, she's up there. I don't actually want to hit her. I want to hit her with a basic attack. <gasps> Let's go. Boom. There we go. That was perfectly in 20 seconds too. Oh, this new Chucky perk is so good. It's actually so good. I see you. And this will give us a new obsession, but they won't be one shot. Yeah, Kate's the new obsession. She screams. Although I didn't hear it. She's right here though. She's still revealed. Oh yeah, it's because of my charge thing. She really gave her the bleh. Boom. No one's more able yet. We're doing a pretty like even job of hooking everyone twice. And I'm pretty sure in the trailer for her, she didn't have a unique Mori. This is the best part. Which is fine. Alright, the obsession is across the universe. Pretty sure Leon's like somewhere over there, but. Oh, there's someone. <laughs> Charging that just to see their aura. There's Alien Girl and Ada. No one's near the, the hook. Leon, sorry you ran back into me. I think he was just trying to get a flashlight save. He's dead. Unique Mori? No. Okay. Right in the tree. Yo, Ada, get off. Yo, that is the most pixelated Minecraft tree I've ever seen in my life. Stop being so difficult, will ya? Got her. Easy. Bread knife kill. Sorry, Ada. <laughs> Her laugh. <laughs> oh, 
I hate that. <laughs> oh no, this laugh, dude. Of course, Leon. Leon's uh, flashbang stays in the generator. Okay. Oh, hatch. No one reveal. Oh, she is revealed. <laughs> that is a really good add on. Both these add ons. I'm gonna go Heidi Ho mode again. Hello? She's not. <laughs> Hello. Cool. Well, I didn't release it in time. I forgot that it's, if you directly contact them, you have to still release it or else you don't get the hit. I like bounced off of her. My fault. What? I charged my power at it as if I was going to go under the pallet, but I didn't. I guess you can't do it point blank. You gotta run to it. Easy. Bye bye. The laugh. <laughs> ah. You are scared. I hate the bread knife. That is awful. She's breathing very heavily. Yep, she flips him off. Nice. Perfect. Well, All right, here we go. It's time to start. Let's play. Uh. <laughs> and then she has to end it with a laugh. One person, two right here. Going in for the Ada. Let's go. Oh, she did not get far, but I'm going to actually turn and get this person because I saw them. That charge is so good. All right. We keep going, we keep going. They really didn't go for the pallet. Interesting. Okay. We hook them, the obsession is gonna get exposed and we are going to kill them. Also the furthest person. I think this is the obsession. Dang, actually having both these perks on kind of makes it confusing. Let's just get closer to them. I don't actually wanna hit them. We have a little bit of time left on it. They loop and though. Let's go. Easy. Dang, dude, that was that was a millisecond. Um, but it was pretty perfect. Pretty perfect. All right, furthest person right there. Go sneaky mode. Oh, it's scaring them. The the footfalls, and they become oblivious, so they know I'm probably coming for them. Dang. There we go. They had to get that fast fall if they wanted to make it. You don't have to scream every time you're <laughs> Seriously. So true. <laughs> Tiffany spit in fact. Oh, she still got that. Not that it matters. I can't tell the lunge range actually. It's kind of weird. I, like, I could have hit her for a long time there, but I kept chasing. Third person camera is actually throwing me off. I'm like, am I am I closer than I look? Or not? Um, obsession. I think that's the obsession. Oh no, this is her. Wait, wait no. That is that fang over there. But how is this the furthest person? Or is it because her aura was already revealed? I'm confused. Why did that girl, the generator, get revealed? She was not the furthest person. Okay, I hear you in there, but I'm gonna go for Fang. I want that one hit. Never mind, it's too late. And she's got life. Dang, this is hard to run from me. I always know where they're at, and they can barely see me. Barely ever knowing where I'm at. Talk to me, Chucky. What's going through your mind? He ain't speaking, okay. Feeling a little quiet today. All right, we're gonna fly over there. No, we could have made that. I don't know why I didn't connect. It's so 
so good. Oh my gosh, they really don't know where I'm at. Is she crying? What's happening? Is she laughing? They are just going back and forth from hook to hook. Not really doing anything else. Hey, you aren't blocking, mate. Oh, this person's dead. I don't even remember hooking this person ever, but whatever. I love how big their heads are. So difficult, will you? I don't think I ever noticed that in the movies or the models are just weird in this game. All right, let's just do this past the building. Maybe reveal someone inside. Nope. All right, if I... Oh, hello. <laughs> really, you're going to drop that. Okay, interesting, interesting gameplay. She was just pre-vaulting it. She got pre-scared before I started the chase. The obsession is dead. Wait, how am I supposed to get a new obsession? Oh, if I, it's because of the Mori. This perk is meant to keep on going. Like, once you hook the obsession, a new one forms. But sadly, I Moried them, so no more obsession, no more of that alien perk work. Or the Chucky perk? Chucky perk. Without a Mori, this would work pretty good. I heard someone crying, so I'm gonna do that. No one got revealed. Was that my character crying? Why, why does she make these weird noises? Yeah, it's her. Look at her. I wish I could look at the front. All right, vault this. Anyone here in the lockers? No. Discordance over there. I'm just gonna, like, scamper under it. Or, actually, I'm just gonna get a hit here. Recharge it. Oh, the little corner of the, the log cabin. I don't think that would happen at a different killer shack. Is she dead? Dead? Yep. I don't like seeing Ada get stabbed like that. Pretty brutal. Um, oh, did I see scratch marks? Aha. Uh -huh. Anyone getting revealed? Nope. There they are. It's a very small reveal radius then. Alright, life. Oh, that's insane. That ability is crazy. So I did have to press space at it. I, I thought. So I could have gotten some other ones off. I thought you just run into it and then you auto vault it, but I guess not. I guess I forgot how it worked. Yeah, you do gotta press space. And you have to continue the charge after, you can't let it go. And then like look in a new direction. Bye-bye. You are not supposed to stab like that with a bread knife. <laughs> it looks crazy. I don't know what would hurt more, getting stabbed by the, the bread knife or the actual sharp knife that's like meant to stab. This is so dull on the end. I thought she'd have a, at least a new part of the Mori where she like uses the bread knife like it's meant to. That would probably be way more brutal though. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is the good guy or the good gal here. Just wanted to showcase a short build here. Might do a jump scare build next, but wanted to showcase one that actually makes kind of sense with the character. You never really know where they're at by default, but they always know where you're at. And I wanted to jump scare some people that way, but maybe a build in the future with um, X play thing or something like that where they're always oblivious and I can actually jump scare them in an indoor map as well without showcasing the uh, Mori. Might make a video on that very soon. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this build. Check out my Texas Chainsaw stuff from today as well because it is a big update, 250 plus fixes, lots of changes to the game as well, just how the game works. 
and and dlc on top of that with a new map new victim and new family member so yeah horror asymmetrical fans are eating good today and dbd and well done you guys absolutely cooked with this chapter but yeah anyways if you guys are enjoying it chucky and dbd or enjoying the content here on the channel make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel helps me out a ton keeps me motivated to keep on posting leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon